Welcome back, everybody. Great to see you here again. I got to tell you, it was a crazy couple of weeks that I've had. I got put in my garden. Uh, I had a whole bunch of other things to do. I had some time off of work, so I'm sorry that I missed a video last week, but that's how life goes sometimes. But I got something really cool for you this week. So this is the part one of my Bob's Burgers diorama so check that out that is looking so cool I am so happy so far with it I did not expect the amount of work that went into this I thought ah, through a couple of buildings three buildings painted up good to go oh my this took a long time to get to this point so there's still a lot of work to do but here's what it looks like so far let's go to the video I'll show you how I did it this is a really fun project and, and just so you know, the Bob's Burgers movie is coming up real soon. Should be a good one. Bob's Burgers is awesome. All right, let's go to the video, guys. Okay, so here we go, the Bob's Burgers diorama. We're gonna start off with, check this out. See that styrofoam uh, base that I got there? Well, boy, did I ever get lucky. There's a, a really, really nice older lady who has, unfortunately, has to spend a lot of money on a lot of medications per month. So she gets all this styrofoam and now she's passing it on to us because she knows that me and my wife do crafting and this styrofoam is super dense. It's really nice to work with. So anyway, I got a whole bunch of that, really scored on that one there. So anyway, we're just gonna start building up the walls here on the buildings. I had some leftover form core from some protest uh, signs that we had. so cut that up and I'll just hot gluing it onto the base making it nice and sturdy boom there goes up the other wall another wall and another wall and pretty soon we're already good and we're good to go with the structure so after all those walls are put up I'm gonna start putting up the fronts and this is where all the doors and the windows are gonna be cut out of um, obviously so you know, I used a uh, foam core just to make it sturdy. And again, it'll be easy to cut with a nice sharp X-Acto knife. So that's pretty much how the, uh, the structure went up. It was actually pretty easy. Didn't take too, too much time. At least this part didn't take too, too much time. So that went up nice and easy. So then after that was all done, some tacky glue and some thin, fairly wide strips of XPS foam I cut on a foam cutter and just did that for the whole thing didn't overlap it i just butted it up uh, that's kind of how it looks in the in the reference photos for this so that's what i did there and then here i moved on to building the uh, the big bay window on the on the right side of bob's burgers there is this was actually one of the more difficult pieces to do there's, there's a lot of intricate work on that one. So uh, I started it off, put it aside for a bit. I was like, yeah, I want it to look half decent. So I, I put it aside and uh, thought about it more as uh, I went to work here, just cutting out the windows, cutting out the doors, uh, making sure that those are nice and straight. And so that's how it turned out there. It looks pretty good. So then I started in on the finer details and this is all the window trim moldings that go all around the windows uh, again xps foam uh, cut a, a piece out of fairly thick foam and then i just cut it fairly thin on the wire cutter so that i could have the exact same thing for all what do i got there i think i have six there oh it's seven or eight what do i got there one two three four five six seven so there's seven pieces there and i did that on the other side as well and then just doing the dormers here above the windows. Um, they're not as um, they're not as deep as it as they look on the on the reference photos, but that was okay. I, I didn't mind. It was it was okay. So just adding some embellishments here, some beads, uh, some pieces from a, a car model, just to give it a little bit of interesting look and kind of make it look similar to what it actually is in the show so adding more stuff to the windows and then here 
there's there's actually a lot of detail in in these older buildings so i decided instead of trying to cut everything with foam i'm just going to emboss it with a pencil i did that with uh, bob's side and the other side as well so then back to this big bay window i had some ideas i thought about it for a while and uh come up with the things that i wanted to uh wanted to make it make it look like how i wanted it anyway so there's a lot of little intricate cuts here and there, uh, hot gluing some uh, branding pieces. Uh, it, it took a while for this. This I gotta be honest, this took a while. But it turned out not too bad. Um, I, think, I think with the painting, it's gonna just make it look much better after it's installed and uh, I can add a little bit of more embellishments to it. So here's the window trim uh, to separate the windows. Um, for this i'm not going to do any plastic uh, of any kind to make the windows all i'm going to do is i'm going to paint the insides of the windows um, kind of a light bluish almost simulating a window color so that's pretty much what it's going to look like there there might be a little bit more things i'll add to it but uh, that's pretty much the end of it there so then i moved on to uh, mort's door there for his uh his moratorium, his, his morgue, and again, piece of XPS foam, and then just embossed all the, the nice intricate woodwork that's in that door. And it turned out pretty good. And here's what it looks like so far, pretty much just before the, uh, the painting stage. I got one more thing that I'm gonna do there, and that's just puts, put the roofing on. And I decided to go nice and easy and efficient and just use some cardboard. So just cut some cardboard there. I, at this point, I just have to trim it off the back there. Um, and there, yeah. I'll, and then I moved on to uh, black paint and Mod Podge. And again, because this is a, a fairly intricate piece, <laughs> it took a long time to get the Mod Podge all on there. It was, it was actually quite interesting how long it took. I was surprised. But I got it done and it, uh, it, it really started to look great at this point. Even before any colors were on it, I was like, oh, this is, this is making me happy. I'm quite impressed with it so far. So just finishing up that uh, Mod Podge and black paint. I let it dry and then I moved on and I tried my best. Tried my best to match the colors to the show. So if, if you're thinking the colors are a little bit off, I apologize. No, I don't, I don't apologize, <laughs> I did my best. So these colors, these colors I think came out fairly close. Um, I am definitely not a master at mixing paints, but I, I, I was impressed. I was happy with how it turned out. So here you can see the green, it's actually not a lime green, it's more of a yellow green. Um, I took quite a while looking up at the computer screen with the picture up there or back and mixing more paint and on and on and on. So that's what, uh, that's what I did. So I think this one here, this, this final color, it's almost like a peachy orange color. And there's my wife in the background saying hi. <laughs> that's the peachy orange color that uh, I was, that's probably one of my, one of my favorite colors that I've ever mixed. It just looks great. All right, guys, so there it is, the final product uh, up to this point anyway. Uh, next week it'll be finished, but I think this looks really great. So thanks for joining me this, uh, this video, and please come again. We'll talk to you guys later.